Imagine a world where flying costs are less than half of what they are now. A planet with almost no weather-related disasters as a result of global warming. With the introduction of the electric plasma jet engine, that future appears to be closer than ever. But there is one question. What is a plasma jet engine? How does it operate? And why is it so effective? The aviation sector is one of the fastest growing producers of greenhouse gas emissions which has a negative impact on the global climate. It emits nearly 2.4% carbon monoxide and other hazardous chemicals into the atmosphere, and this ratio is expected to rise as air travel increases. It's a scary scenario, and there's a good chance that huge storm clouds are on the way. Because the climate issue is not going away, now is the moment for a more sustainable flight route. Most airplanes, as we all know, are powered by fossil fuels. It is, without a doubt, the necessity of the hour to transition the aviation sector to renewable energy sources. Did you know that an airplane burns almost 36,000 gallons of gasoline during the course of a 10-hour flight? This engine has the ability to go entirely green and make an undeniable difference in the world. In this video, we'll look at the scientific study that has led to the development of electric plasma jet engines that can assist with vertical aircraft launch, utilizing renewable resources such as air and clean power, as well as what makes the electric plasma jet engine so good. Before we get to that, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. How the electric plasma jet engine works. A wide range of influential worldwide voices is urging the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, to renew and adopt new regulations and actions to reduce the industry's soaring emissions and mitigate the negative impacts of the climate catastrophe. The good news is that these issues can be solved with a completely electric plasma engine. Solid, liquid, gas, and plasma are the four states of matter. Plasma is an electrically conducting material made up of almost equal quantities of positively and negatively charged particles that form when atoms in a gas are ionized. The negative charge is carried by electrons, each of which has one unit of negative charge. Atoms and molecules both have a positive charge due to the absence of the same electrons. It is also conceivable, according to science, for electrons absent from one kind of atom or molecule to connect to another component, resulting in plasma containing both positive and negative ions. This is a very unusual but fascinating event. This condition is similar to gas, but not all of its characteristics are the same. Plasma, unlike gas, has a set volume and structure, yet because of its electrically charged ions, it can conduct electricity and respond to a magnetic field. The prototype electric plasma jet engine can lift a steel ball weighing roughly 2.2 pounds over a quartz tube with a diameter of only 24 millimeters. How does the prototype operate in practice? If you're wondering how it's done, the science is that when the air pressure rises, it passes through a plasma jet while also being treated in a microwave ionization chamber. This thrust will be comparable to that of a commercial airliner's jet engine. Scientists and engineers all around the globe have been influenced to think differently as a result of this method. By turning compressed air into electrodes, they were able to successfully ionize compressed air and create low temperature air in a quartz tube. The waveguide is pushed closer to the quartz tube using magnetron-produced microwaves generated in a waveguide. The microwaves ignite the outermost orbital electrons once they are close enough. The oscillation of the ions increases as the entropy increases. Temperature rises of up to 1000 degrees Celsius were recorded. Plasma also glows when it comes into touch with electricity, which is a fascinating feature. The sun, stars, interplanetary, and interstellar regions all exist in a plasma state, as does most of the observable stuff in the cosmos. Plasma is also found in the northern and southern lights, as well as lightning. Human-made plasma may be found in certain lights and TV displays. NASA has employed artificially generated plasma in orbit for a variety of purposes. Pulsed plasma thrusters, or PPTs, are high-specific impulse electric thrusters with minimal power. It has two electrodes in close proximity to the propellant. 
The Energy Supply Unit, or ESU, is charged in parallel with the electrodes by the thruster's power source. This technique has been utilized by NASA aircraft for altitude control, precise spacecraft control, and low thrust maneuvers. The plasma-based pulsed thruster's high specific impulse aids the mission while reducing hazardous emissions. It uses relatively little fuel and delivers a lot of thrust and fast speeds. In 1964, Russia was the first country to send a PPT into space, followed by the United States in 1968 aboard the LES-6 satellite. In comparison to other methods such as chemical propulsion, less fuel is required to maintain the satellite in orbit. This technique lowers satellite expenses and extends their operating life. The Deep Space One, or DS-1, mission was launched by NASA in 1998 and continued until 2001. Ion thrust technology advancement is a critical component in the scientific space industry. Next is NASA's innovative Xeon thruster, which has three times the power of an N-star. Its goal is to save money, decrease pollution, and produce better outcomes. Another continuing project is the annular engine, which aims to outperform NEXT and increase the rate of space mission exploration. The magnitude and manner of generating plasma are the primary differences between a NASA spacecraft propulsion system and airplane propulsion. Xenon is used to generate plasma in spacecraft. The suggested designs for how planes will utilize this technology are unique. The new technology creates plasma using electricity and injected air. Space propulsion forces are minimal and insufficient to support an airplane. On Earth, using xenon plasma technology to withstand air friction is impossible. The electric plasma engine concept is that electricity will be immediately converted into thrust by using microwaves to create energy from compressed air, which will then be converted into plasma propulsion. This technology is still in its infancy. If it is scaled up to support an airline, it'll have a beneficial impact on the planet and help to address the global climate crisis. Significant Research Breakthroughs in China Researchers from Wuhan University's Institute of Technological Sciences in China have suggested a prototype system and released a paper explaining how microwave air plasmas may be used for jet propulsion. It is, without a doubt, a creative and innovative concept that has the potential to quickly replace fossil fuel combustion engines. An air compressor, microwave power supply, compressed microwave waveguide, and flame igniter make up this device. The researchers created a plasma jet by compressing air and ionizing the compressed airstream using a microwave. A comparable prototype concept of a propulsion thruster based only on air plasma generated by microwave ionization is also mentioned in another paper published by the American Institute of Physics Advances. A magnetron, a circulator, a flattened waveguide, an igniter, and a quartz tube make up the experimental setup. The prototype proposes that a jet engine produces high temperatures for jet propulsion using only air and energy, followed by a pressurized plasma at a specified setting. They utilized a handmade apparatus to monitor the lifting force and jet pressure at various microwave power settings and airflow speeds during the experiment. During their investigation, they discovered that, for the same power consumption, its propulsion pressure is comparable to that of a typical fossil fuel-fueled airplane jet engine. It leads to the possibility that such a carbon-free thruster might be utilized as a jet thruster in the atmosphere. The prototype can create 10 newtons of thrust at 400 watts, utilizing 0.51 per second while maintaining airflow. This is a significant accomplishment for the team. Microwave power and airflow have a substantial impact on plasma jet propulsion, according to the article. As a feasible engine, the gadget could use microwave air plasma for jet propulsion. The researchers utilized a hollow steel ball to measure temperatures at greater rates when a traditional pressure meter would be easily destroyed. As a result, a high microwave air plasma jet thruster may be built using materials resistant to high temperature and pressure, using a combination of high power microwave sources or an array of multiple microwave sources operating in tandem. The report also calls for more research into the effects of high temperatures on equipment as well as ways of evaluating driving forces. 
The propelling forces, according to data from both prototypes and studies, are similar to those seen in a conventional jet engine. The typical jet engine draws in outside air with the aid of a fan, and as it travels down to the compressor, the pressure rises automatically. In the following stage, compressed air is mixed with fuel and ignited using an electric spark. The nozzle at the rear of the engine grows in size as the temperature rises. Turbines are also rotated by hot air, and this process aids in thrusting the plane at high speeds while maintaining a stable position in the air. The temperature of the air combined with huge volumes of fuel varies in a turbojet engine, from 1100 to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a significant challenge to scale up plasma propulsion technology for use in a jet engine. For a liftoff, the engine is reliant on a number of things. Because the power generated by plasma propulsion technology may not scale linearly, comparing it to a conventional jet engine is merely a wild guess in some lofty claims. The prototype thruster, according to a study released by a scientist at the Wuhan University in China, can create roughly 28 Newton of thrust per kilowatt of power. A typical commercial airliner, such as the Airbus A320, produces a combined thrust of around 220,000 newtons, implying that a tiny jet plane will require almost 7,800 kilowatts to operate. For example, for a single hour of flying, this prototype proposes equipping an airplane with more than 570 Tesla Power Wall 2 units. The A320's cargo is limited to 130 massive battery units. There is no battery on the market that can supply adequate power. It will take time to turn this notion into a reality, but it offers a glimmer of hope for reducing or eliminating human carbon footprints. To get this engine running, significant study is required to find the best components, construction environments, and other aspects. Do you believe that this electric plasma jet engine will completely replace jet engines as the future of air travel? Do you reckon the plasma jet engine could be scaled up? Let us know what you think in the comments below.